Hey, everybody. My name is Phil Kohler. I'm being joined by Andrew Reiner. Phil, we're playing Duke Nukem Forever again. Yeah, this is uh, this is not my favorite game. What uh, are we doing with Duke Nukem Forever? DLC came out of kind of nowhere. The yeah, I, I saw this me. get announced, and I did not realize it is already out. Uh, so this is single-player DLC, not the multiplayer stuff that they've been doing previously. Correct. Um, we're, gonna, we're just going to jump into the beginning here. Yep, and uh, there's a long load here, so... And is this just like a completely we, new story? It is, and it's... I don't know how long the campaign is yet. I'm still going through it. Uh, the download makes it seem like it's going to be gigantic. It's 3.22 gig. It's a pretty big that's download. That's the biggest yeah. download I've seen for, for DLC. Yeah, that's pretty huge. Um, and as you'll see here in probably about 10 minutes when this is done loading, the, uh, the graphics, not the best in the world. I got to wonder where all that's this... kind of true of If the they original. just didn't compress the, the download or what? Yeah. That's kind of true of the original Duke Nukem Forever, though. All right, here we go. It picks up where the last game left off, kind of. All right. And then you're gonna see, it. you're gonna see something familiar here. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. What game does this remind you? We've been here before. Reiner and Phil did this. Yes, we played this before. What the hell? A little bit of Black Ops. Going but on. now with a vibrator. Oh boy. What do you think? They're making fun of Black Ops. Parody. I mean, I'll say, I'll say this. Lampooned. If the original Duke Nukem had been more like scenes parodying other video games instead of just little random references to them, I think I would have enjoyed that more. Oh Boom. boy. Okay, so now look how little of gameplay is here before the game has to load again. Just kill that guy because I can. Go out here. Stuff going on. We played this before. This was kind of hard to find. Yeah, I don't know if I would have noticed that. That door hit you in the face. Yep. Dr. But I'm Duke Nukem, so I could take it to the face. So I was. You will see what I oh no. So oh boy. Ooh, that could have been uh, a game ending bug, maybe. So here we got to look around the camera. For this board here, 1503. Oh, really? That's the puzzle code right here. Du -du -du. All right. I'm gonna find you, Proton. Yeah, right. You say it, Duke. Here we go. And. That's the end of that section, and now we have another long load. I mean, I guess theoretically that could have taken you a while, you know, to find those barrels and to solve that. Yeah, I think it puzzle. took me a few minutes. Uh, but still, it's like, what? What is it loading? Yeah. What? So the one reason I'm sort of interested in this is like theoretically, this is the first bit of Duke Nukem content that is created entirely by Gearbox. It's not, you know, like the original game was a little bit not great, but I feel like part of that might have been, you know, it was Gearbox taking this half-finished game that somebody else had created and kind of trying to finish it. So yep. I'm, I'm curious if this is maybe better overall. What, so what are you far, feeling so from far? what I've played, it's been pretty awful. That sucks. Uh, and you're going to see why here in a little bit. All right. That bums me out. I'm not super surprised, but I am bummed out by that. I mean, I had a Black Ops reference or a joke at the beginning. That's like I said, it's crazy. If, I don't know. If the, original, if the original game had been parodies of scenes from other games, I think that would have been... Like, that, that seems like a better direction for this to go in than than just the stupid action movie parody stuff. So, what the hell is this place? A lot of it falls onto just the design of the game and this is like the longest elevator ride in video games. Probably longer than Mass Effect 1, any of them in Mass say. Effect 1. Like it gets to a point now like it's, it's almost like going. the beginning of Spaceballs with the Star Destroyer. Like how long is this going to go on? Like seriously. Still going. Are you going in towards this thing? There's yeah, thing here. we're going to end here. But I mean, I just played for like a minute, and yeah, now I spent now a minute on, on an elevator. Yeah, that's about how long the elevator ride up. Now to I the, got this the GI office. Is. This long bridge for no reason. Hey, look at it. a bad guy. Is that Doctor Proton, the doctor he was talking to? Yeah, it looks like it's cold in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's him. Here. He's going to make clones of me. Clones of it. So you have to fight yourself? Supposedly. I haven't got to that yet. I guess that is in the title. The, the Doctor Who cloned me is the title of the DLC. All right. So that was that. I saw a ladder off to the side. What's down there? Look at those. You ever see the movie Batteries Not Included? I don't think so. I'll use the ladder. I think it was a Steven Spielberg joint really? from like the 80s. That's right. Late I, 80s, early 90s. I vaguely recall the movie, but was it really Steven Spielberg? Yeah, I think so. Uh, he was involved, I sure. believe. But it was basically a bunch of... Uh, the movie was about a bunch of old people, as I remember. Kind of like Cocoon. Uh, that had a bunch of uh, little aliens. All right. And they kept them in their cafe, and they'd make burgers with them. It's horrifying. Each rat. It is going to be really upset. There's a fight. None of our business. You're supposed to blow that up. Puzzle. Oh, man. Time to blow this is the thing that up. bothered me about the original... Uh, Duke Nukem Forever, the, the original campaign as well. A lot of the like puzzles and just general level design was not very intuitive. Correct. There were a lot of points where I remember just being like getting stuck because of really stupid level design. Yep. And that's where it kind of showed its age. There's uh It would be like There's there no a, reason for it now unless they're trying to do classic design here, right? Yeah. There was a lot of like bad platforming. Is that still in this? Uh I've seen a little not bad at this point. Okay. We'll there were a lot of times where it was like, oh, I was supposed to jump onto this platform that I wouldn't have expected I would be able to jump on. And the first game had that, you know, this one started with Black Ops. There was a joke about Halo. Yeah, forever. I remember that. Uh, I got to wonder where else it's going to go here. So I'm kind of, I'm not really having fun with it, but I do want to play all the way through it just to see, see where Duke ends up again. Sure. You teleport to hell. God, he just keeps referencing hell in every joke now. Do you think there's... What do you think is the hope for the Duke Nukem franchise? Like, do you think Gearbox... I mean, obviously, Duke Nukem Forever sold pretty well, didn't it? Yeah, but it's kind of like taking Dolph Lundgren and putting him in a new movie. Sure. Like, what are you going to get? really get from it? Like, are people really going to care? Do you think there's any hope for, for Gearbox to keep this franchise going in a way that that we care about that's relevant at all? Relevant? Boy, that's yeah. that's a tough call. It, it depends on what they do with the uh, with the uh, the gameplay. It's you weird, know, Do too. they go, like, like, Borderlands? Do they, you know, do they go multiplayer-focused? You know, I mean, obviously, obviously, Gearbox are talented developers. Yeah, um, they make, you know, Borderlands is one of my favorite games oh, of this generation. Yeah. All right. You guy's dead. We should be able to move on. Yep. Oh boy. Look at that guy. Is he done? I believe you hit him in the nuts. I did. That's how Duke does it. Achievement unlocked. Love taps. So it has a lot of interaction, you know, like you could spin this chair. It's a lot of fun. Except the chair. Is there a magazine good. there? Yeah, watch this, Phil. Uh, what is that? It's, is that a horse? A, uh, I don't what is like it? This. Uh, I think you should drop mud that. Mud soaked hottie. Is that the name? Is it like a racehorse? I think you should drop that. I'd yep. bet on mud soaked hottie. Take all of your money to the tracks. Oh now my we're gosh. loading again. Loading again. All right. <sighs> the, it wouldn't be such a big deal if the load times in this game were not so ridiculous. And that was a problem in Duke Nukem Forever as well. Yeah, I don't know what it's loading like at least the the sequences in the first game were or in forever were a little longer yeah this is kind of ridiculous and just wait to see this next part like you know what the other the ugh. other thing that that bothers me about this game is the the weapon swapping so i just saw you do that before we hit the loading mm -hmm. two weapons at a time duke nukem should just be able to carry every weapon in the game it's, he's duke nukem he should like shoot lasers from his eyes i agree <sighs> wow scripted Oh boy. Yeah, they're they're You get to fight those eventually? Uh I would imagine so, yeah. I haven't yet. 
But this is a scripted scene where I think they're starting to clone me. All right. So Ooh, I'm getting scanned. Kind of All right. It tickles probably in a spot on his body. What happens if you don't stand still? Same thing. Phase one. Here we go to phase two. Really? Don't stand still this time. Just run the whole time. But there's a rat in here. You have to find and kill that rat. No. But the rat got out. But obviously it's implying something might have happened, right? Like the rat might still be here. Ah. <sighs> Phase two complete. And this is gameplay. Phase three. So this is all on Gearbox. Like this is design, right? Yeah. Uh oh, what happened? Look at little, oh, little crap heads in here. All right. I remember those guys from the first game. Yep. And now. We got a laser platforming challenge. Or time sequence. Go, go, go! Ah, you're fine. So you think you're going to get this, Phil? I don't think I'm going to get this. Why not? I still haven't finished the original campaign for Duke Nukem Forever. And I, I still do want to go back and finish it at some point, but I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. I, I really have not enjoyed any of the time that I've spent playing. Any of it, huh? It, really nothing. See, I think it's just kind of a below average shooter. Like, like maybe the, it's okay, but maybe the first like 20 minutes of the, the single player um, I thought was pretty solid. Get off me! Oh, that's gross. Little call out to their upcoming Aliens game, maybe? I guess. Come Gearbox always has so many different projects going on at once that I sometimes forget about stuff like that. Is that a Robocop joke again? Buy that for a dollar? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, all, all of his jokes in this should be from the 80s. They shouldn't be doing Black Ops stuff. They should be doing or 90s. They should be doing like. See, I I disagree. I think I think if they want to make the series interesting again, they got to move it forward. Yeah, but not in forever. Like forever's from way back when. Sure. Uh, this sequence goes on forever. Uh oh. The uh, gun over. Here. There we go. So you were talking about the puzzles again. Like, here's one where you have to get up here. See, that's... that's just Took me wrong. a little bit to figure that out. Uh, what's the duck button? There it is. And they don't do a good job of, like, pointing you in that direction in any way. No. Spin, Spin those chairs. chairs. Yes. Spin it. It's saving because you spun Drink the chair. Drink a beer, get some ego. Down the hatch. Is that a plastic bottle? Sweet and spicy. Just how I like my women. Yeah. Sweet and spicy. I don't the, even know what that means. The beer was? Yeah. Is beer supposed to be spicy? I've never had a spicy beer. Doesn't seem good. Oh, scripted moment. Right. What do you think of that? This guy needs a shirt. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean... He's part, like, robot now or android. You think he'd still get cold. You know, his nipples are showing it. I mean, you should have some some self-respect. Is really what it's about. Loading! Right, loading again. Oh. Do a counter for the amount of time we spent in loading screens during this Reiner and Phil. So we'll just play a little bit longer, and then you guys can determine if you want to play it or not. I'm guessing How a much lot does of it cost? Probably you know? won't. Uh, that I don't know. Right. Probably, probably $10, something like that. I think the game's down to twenty dollars new or something like that. And I mean, you know, we're we're relatively down on it. Um, you a little bit less so than me, but yeah, I think the game I does it have like its fans. Six something, yeah. The game does have its fans. There, I know there are people on our on our site in, in comments for various Duke related stories. 
that have said they really enjoyed the game. So, if you're one of those people, maybe maybe this DLC is for you. Robots. Wait, did you open that door? Nope. There's a scripted uh, gunfight here. Ah. As soon as he's done talking, we're gonna we're gonna throw down in a big way. All right. Wow, that's a lot of gun shake. Let's watch that again, Duke, shall get we? Get on that. Uh, get on Here, that turret. Watch this. How is he doing that? Is Duke, he? Duke's getting old. <laughs> I doubt you live long enough to see phase three. Yeah. That's when I kill you. Wow. Wait. Great. Phase three is when I kill you, so they will live long enough to see it. Yeah. Come on, Duke. You gotta watch the AI on these guys. Let God sort them out. The robots. God isn't gonna. I'll explain when you're older, Duke. I didn't think Duke believed in God, but uh, that's something that they're adding, you know, to the fiction <laughs> in this DLC. It's, uh, born again, Duke Nukem. I'd buy that. Yeah. That'd be a cool start to the next game. Yeah. Just blow all this stuff off. That would, that would be a great way to make Duke offensive in a way that's interesting again. <laughs> I'm sure there are people who would be pretty upset about that. What if he's just quoting the Bible the whole time? Oh, boy. <laughs> he who soweth to the flesh shall <laughs> reap life everlasting. He knows so many Bible quotes. It's... My dad's a pastor. Yeah, I think you've told me that before. Yeah. We should get him on this episode. I'm a PK. Call him up. <laughs> so these guys are battling. We'll watch this. Look at look at that. Just let that happen. Don't. Oh. I'm gonna help the robots. Then I get revenge for John Connor. And that's that. Yeah, those are pretty Terminator-esque robots. Yeah. Which I'm sure is on purpose. Did you like that? Uh, you killed some guys, I guess. That wasn't offensive gameplay. Ooh, Phil. Another it's, horse uh, magazine. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. What is it? Jason's saying he's going to have to edit that. I think we can let that one pass. We'll have, a, we'll have an age gain on this, right? Yeah. People know what they're getting into with Duke. Or do they? All right. Are we, we going to load again? I bet we're going to load soon. A lot of doors. Yeah, this is looking like the kind of... Oh. Dude is not doing well. Not in a good way. How do you get yourself into this predicament? Yeah, I don't know. The control panel is on the other side of this door. The whole place is on lockdown, but I think I can get us out of here. That's the fate you deserve, buddy. That's messed up. He's so strong. I want them to put in a Mass Effect style morality system where you can decide whether or not to help that dude out of the door. That'd be cool. Or to kick him through it. I didn't find anything in this room. Except an empty pizza box. In a boom box. See? You don't see those anymore. But apparently they're still, like, used in the future here. Yeah. And we by should, aliens. We should have some of those around the office. All right. Let's see how long this elevator ride is. Counting. There we go. Not bad. Not as bad as the other one, for sure. It's like a real elevator. Hmm. What do you think I do here? Spin the chair. Definitely, always. Yeah. What That's happened on? with this window over here? What's... Hmm. Wonder. Wonder if I should hit that. Jeez. Oh, hmm. Do you need to do platforming here? Is that what's going on? Yep. I gotta go throw a switch somewhere first. Here it is. Hmm. The big glowing switch. That's the one you're supposed to use. Like I'm going for so this is where I died. This is where I ended. I don't know. Is it getting closer? I just jumped the first time. Uh, that, I'm going to do that this one. one. This one. Light it up. All right. Whoa. Oh, boy. Um, this does not look fun. Wait. Are maybe you going it's just up? taking me up. Yeah, maybe it's just taking... Maybe it's just a, a lift. Another kind of elevator. Think I was supposed to jump on that? I think a lift is what they call elevators in England. Hmm. Here you go. Duke Nukem What do they call cultured. lifts? I'm jumping. I don't know. That's a really good question. 
Anybody in the comments who is uh, from the UK can Red help door. us out here. Oh, that gun shake. That would make Joe vomit. Like I want to see that. Get sick. Joe down here. Yeah, we should just watch him vomit. That'd be a good episode. There's another search. So you Hmm. Oh, boy. All right, look for the light. There's the light. There, there. And Duke. I don't know why he always yells Duke when he jumps. It's a weird <laughs> thing. That? No. Sure. No, that's where I was. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so this is just like another elevator kind of thing. I'm yeah. Ju I'm jumping on that. Except with some very s minor platforming. Follow the arrows. Oh, boy. Oh, man. You think I got to go up there? I don't. Doesn't look like there's any with a light on them. It looks like that, that's got to be where you go. I don't know. Yeah. I better be careful and not get knocked off by those things. Or do I go that way? This is where you came from, right? Yes, that's that's where you came from. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I think. I think. Here, that this one, one. That's that's it. Oh, Whoa. I almost missed it. This isn't fun. I don't think. You don't like this? I don't like this. You don't think this is uh, kind of a cool look at this factory thing? Body factory? This reminds me of platforming in Half-Life 1, except worse. Where do you think I'm going? Was I supposed to jump off somewhere? Maybe, Maybe up there? Up okay. Oh, man. You really almost that missed that. Whoa. There. Go for it. There's this guy. Just hit this button. Authorization failed. Puzzle. Oh, is it going to crush him? Is it crushing him? It crushed oh, him. Oh, no. Oops. Nice response. Yeah, oops. That Honoring was, that was the, the end fallen. Of that, that level. He <sighs> just sigh. Yeah. Duke Nukem is, a, is tired of himself. Wait, go back to the wall. Go turn around. Other way. Other way. What's that? Oh, that you got to edit out. <laughs> What's this thing? That's about. Oh. This is a broken so clock. Clock. Can't smoke in here, dude. I like oh. the idea of Duke oh getting my God. tired of himself. What, what did I just do now? I mean, here's... Dukes. There, there's clones. We can end it now. We've confirmed there are Duke clones. Let's see what happens when you do use this glowy. <laughs> oh no. How do I defeat myself? This is like a nightmare I had. There's only one Duke. I hate to kick my own ass, but it's gotta be done. Okay, so now this is like prey. I think what's interesting here is like, theoretically, the bad guy will not know which Duke is the real Duke and which is the clones. Okay, amount of time spent loading and just riding things versus gameplay. What do you think's higher at this point? And and also uh, walking through empty hallways. If someone's dedicated in our forums and they want to in the comments and they want to give us a timer on actual gameplay and actual ride times and load times. Uh, I'd like to see it. Yeah, I would be very curious. Wall boobs. Me, myself, and Duke. Here we go. We're going to end it as soon as we start here. We're just going to take a look at this next room. If it ever loads. It loads. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're still riding. What? What? Who's he Wait, talking to? What? <laughs> okay, uh, I cannot get off. Or was that there. one of the one of the Duke robots? Yeah. Speak. Size only matters when you're full grown, baby. 
check. Proceed. Okay. <laughs> I'm just checking the voices on these Duke clones. Voice module verification. This is a more interesting Speed. scene than anything. I'm gonna rip your eye out. Piss forever. on your brain, you alien piece of shit. Check. Whoa. Proceed. <laughs> Remember when I said that during my inter my job interview? Duke's a little mad. Do you think he has reason to be mad these days? Speak. I've got That's what got you hired, steel. by the way. Negative. Repeat. I've got balls of steel. Negative. Repeat after <laughs> me. I've got balls, 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 balls of steel. I've got balls, er, uh, balls, balls, balls of steel. Check. Proceed. <laughs> what is going on? I, I don't know. I don't know. I enjoyed that quite a bit, though. Yeah, that was, uh, well, like I said, that was that was funnier now. than a lot of stuff in this game. Distract clones. How do I distract a clone? Look around the room, I guess. I can't do anything. I don't have any weapons. I kind of like that they're like, hey, let's uh, get rid of your weapons and have you do something else weird. Okay. We may be at a much more interesting part of this game. Oh, basketball. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Oh, Duke. Look at all the balls. That was close. To be fair, this uh, is a better basketball game than NBA League. Yes. Oh, love the hair. <laughs> oh, boy. I think if you make a basket, you get some ego. Lift weights. Damn, I'm looking good. No, I'm looking good. I'm looking good, too. <laughs> Pump or die, baby. Oh, boy. These are gonna love us. <laughs> I kind of like this a little bit. Here we go. Just work it. Not saying it was worth the uh, the lengthy, boring stuff to get here, but this is pretty funny. Yeah, this is done pretty well. Of course, that's how you open that. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Duke, you're cracking me up right now. All right. How much more do you want to see, Phil? Uh, let's let's take a look in one more room. Or you will be terminated. Hmm? Terminated. There we go. Always bet on Duke. The last leash of the Duke. It's the German one. <laughs> Scommetti sempre sul duca. <laughs> duca sapuesta segura. That's, again, very stupid, but pretty funny, yeah. well, actually. What? They're using the freaking moon. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so does what you draw appear up on the, the big screen, too, now? There. That's great. I drew uh, a gun. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's look up, uh, see if it appears in the... Nope, I don't think so. Wait, back off. I want to see if it... Get rid of their plan. Okay. It is! Oh it, yeah! Yes. My gun! Hooray! <laughs> Great technology. What's on the Aliens not leaving. Great. Okay. What is what do you think this is for? Is that a weight? Is it for the, the bar like the weights? I threw a switch, man. Oh, here. Oh. Movie. Oh. That makes more sense. Um yeah, we probably got to age oh. gate this, huh? You have all the dukes came in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh boy. Well, I guess if you were supposed to distract them, this is theoretically distracting <laughs> them. Okay. Jason uh, is having a heart attack right yeah, now. Yeah, he's going to have to age gate this. And probably put up some black bars. Triple age gate. Oh, yeah. There's some, yeah, there's, there's some boobs. I think you can just leave. I think you, I think you distracted them, and that's what oh, you're supposed to do. That's, I'm, I'm distracted now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, we should we should probably stop here. We don't want to ruin too much, but uh, this looks this is getting more interesting. So As I'm glad goes. we made yes. it. I'm glad, yes. we ma I'm glad we made it this far. That beginning was rough. This is this part's pretty awesome. Hey Hopefully the uh, the full product is more of this. Yeah, that'd be great. In fact, honestly, I'm, I would be fine if this is like the rest of the Duke thing is no shooting. You're just walking around. Oh. Interacting and with boxing. These guys. Come get a little if you want it. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> awesome. Holy <laughs> moly! All right, that's uh, that's our look Duke at Duke. Duke Forever. Uh, the Doctor Who cloned me. Yep. Available now on uh, Xbox Live. I assume on PSN and, and PC as well. Uh, I actually don't know. I don't know either. It's at least on 360. But uh, check it out if you like Duke and want more of Duke cast off. Yes. <laughs> Do it now.